Dwayne Wade is the perfect example of somebody being a complete Chad Alpha, Giga Chad, whatever the heck you want to call him, being the most prolific player on the court. Somebody who is maxed out in one specific area and then just getting blindsided and ruining their career afterwards. You're going to see this manifest in other places very, very shortly. Steph Curry's probably going to get hit with that with this trifling woman and the same thing's going to happen to Russell Wilson. Hey, I, I don't have a crystal ball on anything. All I can see is just patterns manifesting. Dwayne Wade, for my money, of that legendary 2004 dra er, yeah, draft class okay, that had LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, Anthony, Chris Bosch, Darko Milicic, okay, all of the talent and Darko. Dwayne Wade was the biggest leader. He was the most successful, okay, because you remember LeBron James didn't win a goddamn thing until he teamed up with Dwayne Wade on Dwayne Wade's court. LeBron James had to enter Dwayne Wade's frame in order to become a winner. And then at that time, Dwayne Wade had already won a championship, okay, with what was left of Shaq in 2006, I think that was, against the really decent Dallas Mavericks team. That was back when the West was just an absolute juggernaut, and getting out of that would beat you up as opposed to the East, but that's always just kind of been the case ever since Jordan retired. But now that Dwayne Wade's hung it up, oh my god, he also put his nuts up in the rafters as well because this is just embarrassing dude like take a look at what he's doing like oh you're a grown ass fucking man and i understand there would be nothing wrong with that but the rest of this photo shoot is just ridiculous okay holding this woman like that with her tiny titties and it's like okay cool i understand you guys love each other or you think that you're in love but why are you posing like that why are you putting these out publicly and why are you the one with the, the like why why are you being a woman right now because you don't understand at all he is your typical case study in an alpha in one area okay and then getting comfortable and then reverting to an ultimate beta an elite player on the court and a bitch off of it. It's sad because, hey man, I, I've given him big ups and everybody else has as well. He's he's accomplished. He's well respected. He's just doing everything in his power to really fuck up his legacy. NBA star Dwayne Wade files petition to legally change child's gender and name. And just another opportunity to supplicate to his overbearing wife. If you've ever seen interviews with the pair, it's very obvious who runs that relationship. And it's not Flash. Retired NBA star, and I think he's not really doing anything outside of this relationship. Which, again, it's like you were the most successful person on the court. Uh, you should be doing other things, you know, outside of the relationship. Instead of just being under the thumb of your wife. Because that's just a recipe for fucking disaster. Anyways, has filed a petition to legally change the name and gender of his 15-year-old son, Zion, who goes by Zaya. How wonderful. Wade and his husband, actress Gabrielle Union, I know what I said, have said publicly since Zaya was 12 years old that the child is transgender and actually a girl. That's why the kid's dressed in a suit. Makes sense to me. According to Wade, the child came out at age eight. The fuck does a kid know at age eight, okay? They don't even know what they want for dinner, let alone whether or not they have the right plumbing. Los Angeles Superior Court. Why are you in Los Angeles, dude? You played in Miami for fucking ever. He went up to Chicago for a hot second, and then he also played for the Cavs to return a favor for a hot second as well. I don't know much about his childhood, okay? I know he was born in Chicago. I'm if I'd have to guess, probably a single mother. Probably doesn't look too dissimilar to Gabrielle, just saying. But he's just a laughing stock at this point. Wade asked uh, for Zaya's gender to be changed to female so that the team, er, teen's name legally be Zaya Malaki Aramis Wade. Oh God, what the fuck ever. ZMA Wade, wonderful, fantastic. He's a zinc supplement now, or she, sorry. Uh, the petition says the weight Oh, that Wade has full authority to make decisions for his child. As the teen's mother, Wade's ex-wife, Savon Funchess, has been notified of his actions. Oh, great. 
Great, wonderful. Like normally I'd be getting on a single mom or a divorced mom in this situation because normally they're the ones to advocate for this stuff. But you've got a gen you've got an activist here actively involved in this kid's life. You're wondering who's pushing for this stuff. Mm, doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this stuff out. Wade in 2020 posted a photo of his then 12 year old son on Instagram account praising the child as an LGBTQ plus leader at 12 years old. Oh, for fuck's sakes. While using female pronouns who cares everyone allow me to reintroduce herself uh her name is zaya wade no there's a whole bunch of other nonsense in between the zaya and the wade part wade captioned a photo of the young child who was wearing a bright green tuxedo jacket and a pink sash yeah so they had all matching colors at this race and equity center the only time it's acceptable like they're all matching and that's retarded okay and then also look at the body language of this kid obviously closer with gabrielle a little off put by you know that's father it's just totally embarrassing last night was zaya's first red carpet event oh my god and again yeah in order to be a true martyr for the cause oh now just like the ladies back in the day in the early 2000s when they used to have those pocket or not purse dogs that are out there now they have a tranny kid it's the fashionable thing to do but anyways yeah first well, red carpet and we couldn't have pr oh, been prouder of how she handled the questions that were asked of her why, why are you doing this it's a kid for fuck's sake former miami heat guard wrote yeah that's a long time ago at this point uh she has a as one of the young faces and voices of the fucking alphabet community and they want to go even younger than that so you've already modeled out well at an award show where zaya was honored for what existing fuck off you're giving this kid a complex well a complex on top of a complex on top of a complex wade gushed uh, to the audience that the child came out to him at age eight why didn't you take him on the red carpet then coward when our eight-year-old daughter zaya wade came home and said she had something to tell us when she came out to us as a family we admitted that we weren't as educated about the ugh, alphabet mafia as we should have been oh my god wade and union apparently turned uh, to a male couple to help them navigate the right language why it's a chick now so w what the fuck are you talking about and hopefully you kept your distance because you know monkey pox and all that uh, navigate the right language to use to ask the questions to ask and what to listen for. Fucking psycho babble nonsense from a fucking eight year old. Probably had to be very specific about your questioning if you're in LA asking a gay couple about an eight year old. Hey, can you tell us about your kid? Oh, yeah, third. He's got the cutest little freckles on his right butt cheek. No, 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 not about that. They also reminded us to make sure that Zaya knew her community and felt the love and support. Like they're just fucking perpetually toddlers. They need to be affirmed and supported everywhere they go it, it's is it a kid or a push-up bra fucking christ oh, the more authentic self was represented uh, that her bedroom felt like her sanctuary oh my god this is the ideology that's getting pushed in schools by the way okay and it's not like this fucking walking ball of confusion is going to public schools yeah it's in pri it's in public school or private schools as well sorry because you don't think the gabrielle who has a lot of fucking time on her hands isn't in the ears of these instructors making sure that everybody because you see her community felt the love and support inside and outside the home everybody has to adhere adhere to your narcissism and fucking fantastical made-up worldview everybody has to be a part of this fucking circus everybody's probably been to a large city at one point in time in their life right like for me the large city was edmonton and calgary for you it could have been new york los angeles okay lincoln nebraska i don't know where the fuck you guys are at okay I don't have that detailed demographic information, okay? But you've probably seen a homeless person, okay, muttering to himself underneath of his breath, okay, or probably yelling at the sky or some shit like that. Did you reaffirm his assertions that God would one day come down and smite everybody who didn't give him a quarter? Or did you tell him to fuck off and get out of the way? Stop being poor? Eh, maybe I added that little extra bit in. That's exactly what we're doing here right now with these kids, okay? We're reaffirming their fucking fantasy land. I don't give a fuck what this kid would do when they turn 18, okay? That's totally your decision at that point. And if your parents who have sucked this far continue to groom you up to make the most destructive decision of your life, that is by all means your fucking choice, okay? And you can just go after your 
parents for child abuse later. I'm sure there'll be more laws on the books for that because destroying a nuclear family is the ultimately at the fucking bottom of this nonsense. This is just a very public example of what's going on in a multitude of different places. Even as far back as the beginning of my channel, I was talking about one specific case. It was in the lower mainland, British Columbia, okay, where some of the worst ideas in this fucking de desolate country have come from. You had the father who was put in jail in contempt of court because he wouldn't refer to his daughter as a they, or a they them or a he whatever the fuck it was supposed to be okay and the formulation of that idea came from an activist therapist i do believe it was this was a couple years ago but it's just it's made its way everywhere at this point these gender affirming therapists which are being put into public schools now you know, fucking brace yourself for all this nonsense take a look at the numbers if you don't think that this is a fucking agenda at this point a 3000 percent increase over the past 10 years of kids that are somewhere on the alphabet spectrum okay it's soft population control call it exactly what it is because you get these kids on hormone blockers they become lifelong dependents on big pharma okay so they're getting paid the government who needs to subsidize this activity okay they become dependent on the people that are going to pay them for their nonsensical decisions so you got big pharma getting paid then you got the government getting reliable votes out of them and then a few decades from now you're gonna see people who you know what can't procreate because they've all been chemically or castrated then you got a lower population great wonderful all they are is just adhering to their malthusian edict which everybody in the world economic forum believes in but we don't need to go down the conspiracy theory road any further than this Ugh. it's sad to see what Dwayne wade has become but it's a nice example of somebody who is total Chad in one area, but an absolute fucking bottom shelf Brad Beta in another, an ass backwards modern relationship producing the next busted generation. But with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.